This is a tutorial for a Chevron and Superbrick uh, combo, uh, which I all gonna iterate between uh, Superbrick and, and uh, Chevron, Superbrick, Chevron, and so on. Uh, it uses four strings, which uh, each will be four feet long, uh, 1.2 meters long, uh, for 40, 440 or 45 in between 45 stitches. You can see that uh, the um, linear itself spirals. Uh, this and it also preserves the same colors or a line here. You can see that uh, orange here is straight, but you can see some some oranges here, of course. But overall, it's kind of interesting why it is why each color stays at the same point, uh, same line. One more thing is I really don't know if uh, this thing this is, this is thing is a free b one base always. Uh, I don't know how how it will be. Uh, end up if you do it on a 2b1 or a 4b1 or a 2b2. I know it's going to spiral, but but I don't know if uh, the colors will stay the same like this as a 3b1. So is it only for a 3b1 stitch to have this kind of thing? I don't know. P possibly yes, possibly no. I don't know. So that's uh, maybe something some of you guys can check out. Check it out. And yeah, I'll just uh, show it a little bit more, and we will start. So first I'll start with a box stitch, I'll fi find the center, so these are the two center of the strings, and just make a box. Okay, kind of screwed up here. Yeah. Now it's fixed. Yeah. So straight and next I have a white string. I'll add it in between the, the two oranges. So insert it through here. Find the center of a string. Okay, so the center of the string now is around here. And I'll weave over and under. So now um, the right side will be over and under in between this orange and the white. And finally, I'm gonna insert the uh, dark red maroon string. So, in between the two whites. And I'll find the center of a string. Just give me a moment. Okay, good, found it. So it's around here, and it's gonna weave from left to right, and then from right to left. Okay, 
Now I'm just going to stretch and I have a freebie one. So if you never know how to make a freebie one, it's not really a tutorial for this, but it's so just showing you how to make uh, this thing and we'll continue with interesting stuff. So next thing I'm gonna do is the simple uh, stitch out of the two stitches I'm gonna make uh, for this tutorial of uh, super brick stitch and Whoever start this uh, stitch usually usually knows how to make a super brick stitch. So everything uh, just goes straight. So if uh, start the first blue string, uh, top blue string, so you just go here straight, and the second blue you just move here, and then you continue um, from top to bottom, from right to left. Uh, first you this orange, and then this white and so on, uh, maroon, maroon, white, orange. Good. Uh, next, um, the chevron stitch. Chevron stitch is uh, quite interesting. So we start with uh, two outer strings from uh, the left and right side, which now it's going to be the orange strings. Uh, Sooner or later, uh, and if you uh, after this stitch, it will be ch it, will it will change. So now it's orange. Next time it's going to be maroon. Next time it's going to be white. So you'll see. Uh, you'll find out. Uh, during the tutorial. So uh, you just keep uh, this orange on the right here like this and you keep this orange on the left so they are both parallel to each other like this and here comes the interesting part as you move the orange along the diagonal and the left as well, parallel to each other, like this. And now you uh, you see that um, the axis will be uh, tilted to this direction, and we can kind of uh, kind of move it towards there. You can make it in that diagonal, and then you can see that uh, we start from uh, again from now uh, actually go from left to right because um, the um, left string is in the top and the right string is in the bottom so we start from left to right and from top to bottom that means which means that we start with maroon then blue then white white blue and last deep maroon so again i'll uh, from now on i'll just I'll make it a little, little slower uh, for you to see uh, and here we go
So um, next thing is another um, super brick stitch. So very simple. Uh, now it's going to be the two orange strings and just keeping them straight, one to the left, right to the right, and then from top to bottom, uh, uh, maroon, blue, white, 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 blue, and finally this maroon here. So this is quite obvious, I guess. Uh, whoever manage the chevron can manage that as well, I guess. So let's do it uh, pretty fast now, because I want to show you an, a, few, a few more chevron stitches so that you can see uh, a little, little more. Sisters, that's yeah, it's 3 a.m., but uh, I don't know. Somebody's outside. I won't go off. Uh, not right now. Uh, so just, yeah, just finishing that. Blah, blah, blah. And, and just stretch this. And let's make another uh, uh, two more turns. So, uh, again, uh, now we're gonna have an uh, interesting uh, stitch called chevron stitch, which uh, now, as last time we had uh, two outer strings were of um, orange strings, and now you can see um, they are now of two maroons. So, uh, same idea, but with now gonna be the two maroon strings. So, the maroon string goes here from left to the right, first right side, then the, the other one as well, the other moon string as well, here. Good, after that, you just move them towards to each other. Don't cross, of course, don't go here or something like this, just move it along. So that will be parallel to each other, and then just um, kind of tilt of a stitch. But you can see now, again, it's going to move a little bit uh, to, towards um, counter, no, clockwise. It's going to turn, turn clockwise. So that's the idea. Each each uh, chevron stitch, it, it turns a little, a little bit clockwise and, and this is how it's going to twist. So Again, uh, do a little bit slow motion here, and I'll show you how I weave other strings, so you can see. Uh, I'll start with the white and end up with the white here. So white, orange, blue, blue, orange, white.
Good. Uh, next again, uh, irregular um, super brick stitch. So you can see your pattern. You do super brick stitch and then uh, share one stitch, super brick stitch, and so on. So super brick stitch, super brick stitch just everything uh, goes straight. I'll start with uh, two maroon strings and then white, orange, blue, blue, orange, white. I'll do it a little bit, a little bit uh, yeah, I'll do it uh, like I normally do. No slow motion here because it's pretty obvious. So now, um, again, share one stitch, and we have now uh, two whites. Outer strings will be about two whites now. So let's make it. Um, so we start with uh, white here, white here, uh, move it towards to each other. So this one goes here, the white here goes here, and you're going to wave, and again, I'm going to do it slow motionly. Last time, I'll do it slow motion, a little bit faster now, but you'll see. So here you go. And I'll make uh, one more turn. So one more. Uh, I'll show you one more um, turn. So it means uh, I'll make one more super break, and then I'll make one more shave one, and then I'll show you vine stitch, and that'll be it. So I'll show you also the continuation how it goes. Could be pretty interesting. So let's show you one more time fourth time. So white straight, straight here, white straight here, then blue, maroon, orange, orange, maroon, and finally blue. Mm -hmm. 
and then you get stitch and I'll make now the last chevron for you. I'll not slow down now, I'll show you uh, the really normal way I do it. So again, I do it quick, I'm gonna do it quite quickly now. So blue goes here, as you can see, and then blue goes here. And then I just make them close to each other. And then I'm just gonna wave. So I know that I'll start with the top pink and end with the bottom pink on the right side. And I'll go with pink, white, maroon, maroon, white, pink. So let's do it fast. Ah, oh, kind of not fast, but uh, normal. This goes here. I, I, I think it as if it was a regular super brick stitch. So at the end of the day, you, uh, the base always go, looks the same. Let's see, three on a one. Three vertically and one horizontally. So I'll have to explain one day how I think it, how I think it through. But uh, I guess you most of the most of you know how to manage from here right now because it is. It now is the fourth time in making it. Uh, orange here. Final one in between blue and white, and it's supposed to work. And stitch. But I'll make now the end stitch uh, afterwards. I'll show you results in a few seconds. I'm gonna make for now the end stitch. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take a look a bit how it looks like for now. And I'm gonna make for end stitch. So I want to, uh, for you to end up with uh, your last stitch will be, uh, that will be a break stitch. So once you make your, your break stitch, uh, I'll undo it a little bit. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna make the end stitch. So give me one moment. Okay, good. so I un undo the stitch a little bit and I'll make another end stitch. Um, I'm gonna start um, from the orange as we're gonna go con uh, counterclockwise. So from orange, maroon, uh, white, blue, and so on. And I, I um, I, I I go around the, the, the um, one one loop, so it will be now this uh, orange loop here. Go underneath the maroon, and then through the center of a stitch, like this. And that's that will be the idea for the, for the rest of the strings. So uh, next will be the maroon string, go around the blue loop and underneath a white string. Now it's gonna be here for the center, quite easy. Now it's gonna be the white string, go around the white loop and underneath the blue string. And then to the center. And give me a moment, it takes time. Come on. Okay. Finally this. 
And then I will have a blue around the maroon string. And again to the center. And same idea on the other side. So firstly, take this uh, pink string, uh, orange string underneath the maroon and to the center here. I want to leave a white and to the center. Uh, white underneath the blue. Finding the blue, which will be in between this uh, maroon and this orange. So this is the, the last ghost underneath the first, and that's kind of closing everything up. And yes, um, now I'm just gonna stretch and, and cut the strings. So I'm gonna cut uh, around here. And here we go. Uh, that's the result of a tutorial. I hope you guys uh, find it interesting. Um, it's kind of neat to have this twist uh, thing and everything is in line. Uh, Moon here, white here, blue here. Kind of interesting why it is. Anyway, I'll just show it a little bit here, maybe. Around here, maybe around here. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish it. This, and um, yeah, so see you next time.